may be seated. Will you turn with me to Psalm 23, which is in the back of your hymnal? Psalm 23, it's on page 754, the responsive reading, the Psalter, and today leading us, we have four youth, young, four young men who will be confirmed next Sunday, and three of them, Bay, Sam, and Alec, are here to lead us in this Psalter reading. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures, leads me, oh, <laughs> leads me beside still waters, restores my life, leads me in right paths for the sake of the Lord's name. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I shall dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. Today's scripture comes from the book of Acts, chapter 9, verses 36 to 43. Now in the city of Joppa, there was a disciple whose name was Tabitha. Her Greek name was Dorcas. She was devoted to good works and acts of charity. At that time, she became ill and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in a room upstairs. Since the city of Lydia was, was near Joppa, the disciples who heard that Peter was there sent two men to him with a request, please come to us without delay. So Peter got up and he went with them. And when he arrived, they took him to the room upstairs. All the widows stood beside him, weeping and showing tunics and other clothing that Dorcas had made when she was with them. Peter put all of them outside, and then he knelt down and he prayed. He turned to the body and he said, Tabitha, get up. Then she opened her eyes, and seeing Peter, she sat up. He gave her his hand, and he helped her up. And he called the saints and the widows, and he showed her to be alive. This became known throughout Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. Meanwhile, Peter stayed a long time in Joppa, living with a tanner named Simon. For the word of God in scripture and story, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, we give thanks. Thanks. 